Here are a couple of things I threatened, I mean, uh, promised a couple of times to show. These are penguin, factory penguin tow bars. These go on in place of the trailer hitch, the finishing has one. These two are slightly different, the couplers are different. Tubing or the material is different. This is this is tubing. That looks like it's two pieces. Sorry, <gasps> this is tubing. Two pieces of tubing, cut at an angle with tabs for the for the uh, rods with clevises on them. And this looks like two pieces of angle. One piece of angle here, and one piece of angle here, welded here and here. Also. Joined at an angle with tabs for the support bars and couplers. So, first of all, if you have one of these, don't use it. Do not use it to tow your penguin behind your car for several reasons. Uh, damage to the penguin is one. Damage to the front tires in the penguin is another. And possible injury to others is of course the main thing so I'm going to show you how these were used but please do not use them so here is the back of one of my penguins this one does have a trailer hitch installed so I'm going to have to remove the trailer hitch to install the tow bar so I'm going to have to remove the bolt at the top here and hang on to it because I'll need it to install the tow bar and then I'll have to take the well, the bolt I have there, and there's a pin here with a cotter pin in it. I'll have to remove those and take this hitch off. And then we'll put the tow bar on and uh, show you what happens next. So there the hitch is off. This is a factory penguin accessory trailer hitch. And this one has a pin welded into it on one side and just a hole, probably where the pin on the other side fell out, but anyway, when I install it, I'll start that pin into this tab here, and hang the hitch on the upper mount, put the bolt in it, and then put a bolt through the hitch and this other tab here. Those tabs and this upper hitch mount, I believe, are on most penguins. The blue penguin I have does not have them. It also doesn't have lights on it either. So, not everyone has them, but I do believe most have them on it. And there's actually another design for, one of, for a trailer hitch that I have on my website. It's fairly easy to make. This one with this bent up shape here at the bottom is a little tricky to replicate, but you can just make one out of tubing. Again, the design for that, sketched out by hand, is on my Kevin's Penguin and Beaver page site. I'll post a link in the comments below. Or in the description below, actually. So if anybody wants to make a hitch for their penguin, they can. So here, for demonstration purposes only, a tow bar, factory, an original accessory tow bar for a penguin has been installed on the back of the penguin. Simply taken the trailer hitch off, installed the tow bar on the top mount, and the two strut bars are linked to the tabs by the rear wheels. Now I've just set bolts in them. This is just again for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to move this machine with this tow bar on it. So there the tow bar is on the machine. And here is the penguin with the tow bar attached to a vehicle, which will not be going anywhere while this is hooked up, by the way. Again, merely for demonstration. So the penguin, when it's attached to the hitch, the wheels do come up off the ground. So you can tow it along just like this with it running along the ground on its two-ply, basically, wheelbarrow tires. Again, that's what the intent was. Please do not do this at home. And the steering 
would have to be secured in a straight ahead position more or less as it is using a tonneau cover a vinyl cover that snapped on using the snaps all around the perimeter of the cockpit here and it had a pocket to hold the handle straight now this piece of leather strip that's in here that may have had something to do with holding the steering straight I'm not sure but this machine apparently was trailered I think it is behind a car many miles unfortunately it did not break the rear end out of the penguin now as if that isn't scary enough I'll show you something else when this gentleman that bought this penguin bought this penguin a friend of his also bought a penguin and since they like to do things together but with their own machines the gentleman on this penguin installed a trailer hitch on the front of his machine now this hitch has been installed reinforcing it you can see the tie bars there that go back to the front suspension mounts there's one there one here and the extra fiberglass matting in there to reinforce the nose so this penguin has been modified with the extra hitch on the front that is not a factory accessory that is an owner added accessory and we'll show you what was done with that hitch hopefully in a moment and since i'm easily distracted by shiny things here is another hitch more or less mounted correctly it's the same hitch as on the other penguin only this one still has the two pins in it so this has hairpins and washers holding it on so again another factory penguin trailer hitch and here for comparison is a beaver factory trailer hitch the upper mount on this beaver is a little different I think the outside of the mount is the same it would probably accept the mount that was used on the penguin this hitch mounts to two tabs which are very close together although the two tabs further out which are in about the same area as they were on the penguin are also on this so the trailer hitch sketched on my website that I provided the link for I think would fit one of these machines if uh, the factory hitch here wasn't installed okay so if this isn't um, interesting looking enough to see one penguin going down the road behind a car backwards on those flimsy little front tires how does this picture look if I can get far enough away we can actually see what I've done here this is how these two penguins were transported by the two guys that owned them to various places where they like to visit apparently uh, they put a lot of miles on these things like this thankfully uh, nobody was hurt but this is how they towed them down the road this penguin does have a tonneau cover on it it's not ideally in the way that it's contacting the the uh, where is it the steering I don't think that would hold that steering straight if it hit very large bumps but the original cockpit cover the tonneau cover had pockets on it for the steering so that's penguin number two attached to penguin number one attached to the tow vehicle to haul it on down the road and once again I urge you if you have one of these tow bars don't use it I've actually seen a machine I helped repair a machine where this hitch was broken out of the back of it one big bump and that fiberglass is all that's holding this together so not recommended to use but I did promise to show 
how these were hooked together. So there they are. Two penguins in tandem, backwards behind the car.